Hey everybody in YouTube land. Thanks for taking a moment to watch my little video here. I'm going to go up over the fence and show you it's a nice day. It is the last day of May. Still a little bit chilly in the evenings. Um, check my watch. It's in the high 60s right now. But summer is around the corner. And I just want to do a quick update. It is, uh, yeah, I said the last day of May, but it's uh, Thursday. May 31st. Uh, I'll go over the news section. Yep, I've added some more beds over here. You can see I put the shade cloth across to the fence. I need to cut that, but why bother right now? And I had a short piece here. It doesn't matter because at this time of the day, the sun still gets on these boards here. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of an overlap eventually here. But like I said, I got most of the beds up. Last bed, I don't know if I'm going to fill it yet. Maybe just use it as a washing bed. I don't know. This one isn't turned on yet, but it's set up. I st stuck with the uh, Coroplast. Went with white this time. It is not translucent. And if it does, what I'll do is I'll just throw a black one underneath. And you can see I put a little bar to give a little more support in the middle there. Because you can on these, when we get over there, you'll see it's sagging. In fact, I got one right here because this one sagged so much with the weight of the lettuce that it went down in the water. Got some more seedlings in here going. This one had a, got a celery seed stuck in with the uh, romaine there. I'll let it go for a while. And this one just didn't cut it anymore. Somehow I got broke. I don't know what's happening with this guy. Nothing planted in over here. I moved the passion fruit over here to give it a little more sun and get it out over there. It's going to be in a bucket over here shortly. Got a bunch of soil over there ready for it. Nothing in here yet. I'm going to throw some kale in here. Some kale seeds. Because I want to get this harvested and give it away to friends because it's uh, it's just overdoing the bed there and it's causing issues with the drain and I don't want the carrots to get flooded. Got uh, two zucchinis here. I don't know what's going on with these guys. I think that's a zucchini. I'm pretty sure this one is. That might be a cucumber. Really should mark them, huh? Some uh, ruby shard. Some celery. These were just, I don't know. This is a watermelon. I don't know if it's going to make it. It's not growing. It's got some new growth, but... I don't know, I think I killed it. And it's not gonna make it. And yeah, that's the cantaloupe that came out of here. Or zucchini that came out of here. Still gotta get these other ones planted. So yeah, that's the new beds, they're all running. I just need to get some veggies put in there. Let's go on over here. This was a uh, tomato sucker I just stuck in the water and he's doing pretty well. I'm going to have to give him his own little bucket. It's iceberg lettuce. Need to start getting it. All this I need to start getting harvested. We've been eating a little bit at a time. I'm not big on salads. But I use this in my sandwiches and the hamburgers. So some of it's going to be used tonight. Um, some kale. Some lettuce coming back after being cut. Strawberries. My wife uh, harvested a lot this week and get, uh, I gotta have that berry. That berry is calling my name. Come on, berry. Ah, uh, look at that. Mmm, that's so sweet. Anyway. Here's uh, more of the lettuces. There's the carrots I just told you about. Can you see? Uh, I don't think it's draining properly. Every time I come out here, water level. And I already went through here once and popped the cap and pulled roots out of the, out of it. But uh, it's not working properly. So I'm going to harvest this all this week and clean out the roots and clean out the siphon somehow. And then I'll plant some more. Look at these marigolds. I didn't even take them. Hold on. I didn't even take them out of the pot. 
and they're doing well. Don't know what that is. I have to ask my friend what it was. He gave it to me. Spinach gone to seed. I'm just gonna let it go to seed. That's uh, Utah celery and the basil. We don't harvest much basil, so I'm not gonna plant that much more next time. The trees. I took one that one out of the uh, the wicking pot, and it's doing better. So I'll, this one's not doing bad at all in it, so I don't know if I should leave it in there or not. Probably end up taking them out. I'm gonna put up a sprinkler system run by a node MCU in a soil moisture sensor. So I'll water every time their soil goes dry. And here we are, the green pepper is still not ripe. I'm not getting a lot from them. So maybe I ought to try a different type of green pepper. Last bite of strawberry. Cucumbers are still growing. Every once in a while I gotta pull these guys back. You can see a little butt, buddy there. I want them to go on this side of the netting. But over here, yep, over here, I've got a big dude coming in. Can't wait, that's, I'll have a salad or all my sandwiches. They're spiny. Got another one coming in here. More of the peppers. Now, after I trimmed off, this one needs to get trimmed, but I trimmed off all the leaves, and these ones are doing well. I don't see any powdery mildew come in, but I don't have any flowers, new flowers. Well, I got some there. There's a female, female. So it figures I, I'm going to have all females this time and not enough males. So, tomatoes, this looks like it's going to be the purple variety, but it's taking its time ripening, and it's not producing a lot. And I'm getting dead leaves up high. So I'm probably going to wait till these ripen and then pull it out, put a new one in. One's broccoli, one's cauliflower, your guess. Until I start seeing something growing here. And then we got some ripening here. Lots of ripening going on there. Hopefully we'll get some more coming up. Trying to get, make sure they get pollinated. Get this one back here while I'm here. Pollinate guys. A lot coming in here. Got some beefsteak tomatoes. They're not getting that big yet. It's getting overrun by the other ones. So I'm gonna plant some more beefsteak over here, I guess, and maybe elsewhere as I move getting the rest of the yard done. And look at this guy. This guy's a yellow squash, and I actually pollinated this flower today. I actually got a couple little guys coming up. Water's flowing well. So this one hasn't been producing any well I guess I got some small ones going but I haven't seen much it's been growing like a weed but I haven't seen too many tomatoes farming so I'm gonna have to make sure I get out here more and make sure they get been pollinated see these things these things are the best inventions I've seen for tomatoes good line it's on a spring it's called a yo-yo you just put, hang it up, pull your line down to where you want it, and it will get the grow or go up with as the plant grows. Keep it straight. Lots of tomatoes here. We're going to be harvesting these the next few days. Same over here. And this guy's going all over the place. So that's it for all the veggies we got. Need to get planting some more and. And expanding outward. Oh, sorry for the view, guys. Don't want to drop my phone in here. And you can see the guys. They, they think it's feeding time. It's uh, feeding time in about another 20 minutes. But you can see in there, I need to add some more fish in there. Get the population going a little bit more. I'm going to open up this tank. Here's the koi side, and they've been growing big. I mean, you can see the big guys down there. There's two big ones, and then where's my favorite? Here's my favorite, right down in here. This guy right here, he's my or she or whatever is my favorite. Makes me wish I had an aquarium with her in it. So fish are doing well, filters are doing well. 
I need to go ahead and pop out this sensor because it's not the humidity has been showing 20 to 30 percent forever so I need to uh, update that uh, I got a new chip I've tested it out so I'm gonna probably pull this out tomorrow replace that redo the code and I haven't ordered a new pH sensor yet because it costs over 150 bucks but I'll get that in the next week or so so some tank doing well with the flow sensor get focused here flow sensor and alarm works well and we got our rain tanks uh, tapped off with tap water and been dechlorinated. We're about three quarters full now. And the sensor's working well with that as well. So that's it for our little garden here in a nutshell. Uh, I hope you guys all have a good week. Uh, I'm working on some other projects right now um, around the yard. I got to work on finishing the wall here. So I can finish this upper level, excuse me, upper level and get another tree in. And then I'm going to pot the passion fruit and have it going in the wicking bed over there. And I'm going to get some lattice to go over there for it to grow on. And I've also seeded, excuse me, strawberries affect me. I seeded some sweet corn that we're going to put in some of those uh, root pots out here. So they get full sun, but they're not going to be aquaponics. They're going to be normal, normal growing. I am working on getting an Adreno cam going so I can pop a little camera in the fish tank for you guys. And what else? I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to work on sensors on switches to water the trees based on moisture. I don't know if I'm going to have it on one tree to water all of them based on that one tree's moisture level or if I'm gonna go ahead and do it on all on each one the problem is you can only do one moisture sensor to a node so if I do that I'll probably have a box next to each tree and the box will have the node the moisture sensor and a relay to trigger the solenoid to give it water it's not really a cost factor it just yeah I don't know We'll see. That's one of the projects I'm working on. So, that's it for today. Gonna get ready to feed the fish and clean up some of these plants. And I gotta go pick up my daughter in a couple minutes. She's at practice. So, I hope you guys have the rest of the week. Do, uh, do well the rest of the week. Have a great weekend. And I will talk to you guys next time. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll do my best to reply. Please subscribe, like, and all that neat stuff, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.